All right, guys, we're doing another one. Uh, this is from FH Beer Works in Colorado Springs. It's called Sticky Paws. Um, this is a low fill from a guy, and he's doing his inter doing half of his internship there. So I'm gonna probably pour two of these just because it's a uh, low fill. But this is American wheat. Um. Oh, I love that color. Oh, that's a pretty good size. I'll do one and I'll just have the other one after the video. Uh, so the American wheat, what are we looking for today? Uh, it should be moderate to uh, low to moderate grainy, bready, or doughy. Again, wheat. Think about it. Um, es ester should be moderate to none. Uh, a light to moderate malty sweetness is acceptable. And then natural yeast strands, banana is inappropriate. Hop aroma may be low to moderate. And got a citru citrusy, spicy. Uh, or floral notes. And then uh, no clove or uh, phenols. Uh, and appearance should be pale yellow to gold. May range from Brilliant, uh, from brilliant to hazy with yeast approximately of the German Weisenberg style of uh, Weisberg, Weisbeer, can't speak right now, uh, long lasting white head. Um, the head went down pretty quickly. But again, low fill, that might have affected it. So the smell I get, it kind of smells like pizza dough almost. Just, um, now if you go to your local grocery store, you buy dough, you open the bag, that's already proofed, you open the bag, and it's like puffed up already. Like that's what it smells like. All right, and then flavors, uh, light to moderate, strongly bread, doughy, grainy, wheat flavors can linger into the finish. Have moderate malty sweetness, finish quite dry. Uh, low to moderate bit bitterness, which sometimes lasts in the finish. Low to moderate on the hops, like we mentioned the citrus, floral, piney, all that other shit. Um, esters be moderate to none, but should not include banana. No clove. All right. One step, everyone knows the rules. This is really drinkable. Really crushable. Like I could chug this. Um, I get like a nice, it, it, it feels like I'm drinking sourdough or something like that. Um, you know, it's just kind of drinking, you know, I get a nice little maltiness to it. Um, and the flavor is quite nice. Um, overall, one sip. You know, I wish there was a little bit more of a punch to it. But overall, pretty enjoyable. Um, I'm going to give this a 36 out of 50. All right, have a good one.